All right, guys, welcome to the wench. Today, I actually have a special video. It's one of my very own story videos told by the man, V Pirate 613. If anyone knows about that, or just the brown guy on fucking the wench catcher's channel. So, I'm gonna be talking today about this is back in fucking high school or secondary school if you're from the UK, which you probably are. So, back in fucking high school, there was this kid, uh, I'm gonna call him Dylan, because I don't, I don't wanna call him by his real name, I don't wanna get sued, but this guy won't sue me, he will, he will jump me, and I'll talk a little bit about that later, <laughs> why you don't wanna fuck with Dylan, but Dylan, back in um, DT class is where I met him, Dylan would sit at the back of the class, doing very weird things with his hands and the thing is i did not notice until i actually sat next to him so it was just me and dylan sat in uh, dt class together um on a big ass table with no one else no one wanted to sit next to fucking dylan okay um i was quite shy back then so i didn't even speak to anyone so the teacher decided to pair me up with another guy who doesn't he doesn't speak much but this guy this Dylan, Dylan doesn't fucking, he does no work in any of his classes. I actually, I didn't know he was in, he's actually, he was actually in most of my classes. So Dylan would sit at the back of the class with his hands down his trousers. And the thing is, I, as I said, I never noticed. I thought, for me, I, I was quite naive and fucking stupid back then. I was really pretty stupid. I didn't really pay attention. I still don't pay attention to a lot of things, and uh, people call me out for it nowadays. So I'm getting better. I'm getting better. But I thought it was keeping warm down there. Was, you know, his his hands disappearing. But one day we were actually doing a uh, project. Um, so I sat closer closer to him since I I mostly do all the work. So. He just sits there and I try to get as much out of him as possible to see if he wants to make changes. He didn't really care. You know, I was the one getting good scores out of that class for both of us. And I, I, I didn't mind that, to be honest, because Dylan was alright. I thought Dylan was alright. The fucking problem, though, is the moment I got sat closer to him is when I saw that his fucking hands... Were all the way down his trousers. I'm not talking about his his fingers just disappeared. I'm talking about his whole palm of his hand and part of like where the palm meets, you know, where the fucking arm is. I guess I don't know what what the term is, but that disappeared. And I was like, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is this motherfucker doing, right? And he just sits there, fucking moving his hand around on his ball. I don't think he was fucking choking choking the chicken or club in the seal or anything like that but he was definitely playing with his balls okay so for fuck's sake it makes me it makes me fucking sick thinking about it now i from that moment on i started noticing it in every every class he does this and most of our class classes you know we had a female teacher so i don't even remember if they were hot i didn't i didn't really pay attention to i well, mostly I can't remember what my teachers looked like, most of them back then, but he'd do the fucking same thing all the fucking all time, and that's when I realised the group of people he was with were doing the same thing. Like, I don't know if it was some fucking meeting for the fucking ball scratchers or some bullshit like that, but... The number one thing to be in that guy's group is you have to be a fucking you have to be at least chubby. Everyone in his group is chubby, and you have to have you have to have fuck you, fuck you can't you can't do any work in class. <laughs> I'm losing my words here. You can't do any work in class, and third, you you have to feel your balls wherever you are, wherever you are. <laughs> so you know, I sometimes you know you see people put their hands down the trousers because it's fucking cold. I get that, you know, but fucking. These, all this group, this group of people were just sitting there, 
feeling that ball was then fucking Dylan. What made it worse is you'd hear some you'd hear some weird ass noises coming from like little grunts and you'd be like <sighs> And I I fucking I moved. I, I just switched places, okay? And you know what? It was actually a good decision because I actually met my best friend moving away from that guy. Okay, I met my best friend just moving away from him sitting somewhere else. Um, he didn't give a shit, but like, I don't think he even gave a shit. Maybe he does, you know, in his heart, he fucking holds a grudge against me, you know. Uh, the thing is, I see Dylan around, <laughs> he lives in my area, so I see Dylan around the, uh, the fucking, uh, roads, uh, every now and then, you know, when I see him, I'm like, oh, you're right, Dylan, is that, and he's like, yeah, yeah, how you doing? I'm like, you still feeling your balls up in that? And he's like, yeah, 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 I'm still, still feel my balls, you know, f- from the fucking ball scratching team, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't always say that, but we just nod at each other. You know, when we see each other, just acknowledge that we knew each other back in school. But the thing with Dylan is, he was actually um, so he had this little group of ball scratchers, or you know, whatever you want to call them, and he was with this other big group uh, of people that you know, if you mess with one of them, you're gonna mess with twenty of them. So that's why I, I I'm not calling Dylan by his name because. He's not going to sue me, I know he's not going to sue me, but he'll sh- he knows where I live, so he'll, he'll show up in front of my door with about 20 people with baseball bats and, and smash my head in, so if if he, if you are there, Dylan, and you know it's you, um, just take just take my brother, right, you can sell him, just don't fucking take me, okay, I, I have, you know, I'm fucking precious, right. <laughs> but yeah so that went on through most of high school the the ball the fucking those people who scratch their balls or just fill their balls up you know and uh it was disgusting and i'm pretty sure people still do it nowadays um if you go to a, any school it might happen let me know if it does happen if or if it was just an experience of my own, you know, because definitely my friends also noticed it, and it was a big thing back then. Like we'd joke about it um, to them, <laughs> but yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this story episode. Um, if you do, make sure you leave a like, um, give us a sub as well. We're trying to reach a hundred subs. I do want to get partnered with um, a smaller uh, partnership program so I can. Uh, so this channel can actually grow a lot more. So if you just support us and like us, you know, show your love. There's daily content that goes up. I put time and effort into the video, so I appreciate. Uh, fuck, I appreciate it. And if you don't hear from me in the next week, then you know Dylan has probably uh, stabbed me. So yeah, <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed the video. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.